Hello YouTube, welcome back to another video. This is 2E0 IQJ. So last week we looked at transferring tapes over to a digital form. I showed you how to get your VHS tapes into your computer and then you can upload them to YouTube, edit them in, edit them with the editor of your choice. So in my case it would be Final Cut Pro, it would be Caden Live iMovie. You can then place them onto a DVD or give them on a USB stick, you can play on your TV or you can just uh, watch them on your computer. Now I'm a bit of an old school gamer and I like playing things like Sega Master System, Commodore Amiga, uh, Sega Saturn and so on. I used to play them on a HD television set and the HD screen I used packed up. I mean I've had it about 15 years or so, so the HD screen I used packed up. So rather than buy myself a new TV set, I thought I'd get one of these video converter boxes. And over the other side of the room, which I'll show you in a sec, um, I have a 28 inch CRT television. And hopefully this box will allow us to run HDMI devices on the old school TV. So we can be running the Apple TV, that's the 1080p Apple TV. You can run this Mini Super Nintendo, although I've got a real Super Nintendo. You can run this Mega Drive Mini, although I've got a real Mega Drive. And you should be able to run all that on the old fashioned TV via the SCAR socket using this converter box. You can even run a Xbox One or an Xbox 360. PS4, should be able to run a PS5 or Xbox Series X on there as well, and that'd be quite interesting. So what we do, do a quick unboxing, and I'll go and set everything up, run you through the setup, and then we should uh, see if we can get any images from the Apple TV, which we're going to use in this example, on the old fashioned TV set. So here we go, the video converter box. Let's open up and see what we've got inside. Now I did have a cheaper version of this, which was this case you might have got, but because it was plasticky, I found it got very, very hot, very quickly. So I didn't want to use it, so I went out and bought this one. So hopefully this one here is going to be better. And we've got in the box, we've got our unit itself. Oh, this one's better. It's metal already. Not plasticky, lovely. And you've got a SCAR output, HDMI output, and audio output. DC 5 volts in. Your power LED. HDMI input. A PAL straight NTSC switch and a mode or zoom button which allows you to zoom in on the picture. So hopefully this one will be better because it's uh, made out of metal. Also in the box we've got a SCART cable which I shan't be using because I've got my own one here. I'll show you that in a second. We've got a 5 volt power supply, just a box standard generic power supply. And we've got a set of instructions there. HDMI to AV plus HDMI converter. Now at the back of my TV set I've got about four SCART sockets. Now I can't get around the back of the TV because it's too big and it's wedged in the corner. So what I'm going to be using is the front red, white and yellow sockets which is what we've got the cable there for and then we're going to use the adapter to convert it to the SCART and hopefully can run the Apple TV on the old fashioned CRT television. So what I'll do, I'll go and set everything up and I may have to film with my mobile phone here because my camera I'm using doesn't support 1080p 30 frames just 1080p 50 frames as far as I'm aware I can't change it so I may have to record with my mobile phone so the quality audio changes because I'm filming with my mobile phone if I don't film at 1080p 30 frames a second I'll just get stupid black bars going all up and down the screen or, or gel bars so let's go and set everything up I'll show you how it's all set up and then we'll see if we can get a picture off the uh, old fashioned TV with this Apple TV. Okay so I've gone handheld with the camera and the Apple TV box is connected to the HDMI SCART converter uh, via the HDMI cable. Both plugged in, you can see the LED there, it's on. Back of the box there you've got a SCART adapter and there's yellow, red and white. Bottom of the TV, you've got a Xbox One, Sega Saturn, Atari Jaguar, and a CD32. And the other half of that cable is connected to the front there, the red, white, and yellow connections. And uh, guess how big the old TV is. And just to show you how deep it is or wide it is, check this out. That's why we can't shift it, because it's too heavy. So, what I'll do now, I'll put the camera back on a tripod, and then we'll see if we can get a picture on this thing from the Apple TV. So we're going to turn the telly on. 
and it goes to the grey, should come to the grey static on channel 4. So I'm used to have analog TV. I'm just going to press AV and I'm going to push the blue one to go front AV and there we go we have the Apple TV connected and a nice picture on the old school CRT television and it operates just the same way as a normal Apple TV would so you can go down you can watch things like um, all four ITV Hub and my five UK TV play you can go down there you can play the Minion game, Asphalt 8, Jetpack, Joyride, Angry Birds you can do Sonic the Hedgehog or Sonic CD you can go watch VLC player on it but if I go to YouTube and we'll search something up on YouTube we'll search for my channel and there's my channel, let's go and watch a video say that one there there we go, now watching YouTube on an old school CRT television I can pause it and then go back to the beginning of the video Beta version got the coil stops now the only downside is is when you look at some of the smaller text so let's go back to the menu you'll find it might be a little bit hard to read so at the bottom there where it's got the views so 27 views uh, 1.6 or 1.8k views next one here BFT1 um, six point wave of views. The small text is slightly harder to read, but when you're watching the videos, say this one here, the videos play absolutely perfectly. Repeater is so strong, and uh, the picture quality just look, looks just, it looks good for an old school CRT television. Back to if I go back to the main menu, I can then watch Plex, Amazon Prime Video, IPTV if I wanted to, podcasts, even watch Apple TV, iMovies, uh, iTunes movies and iTunes TV shows. So there we go, the video converter box which allows us to run HDMI devices on old school CRT televisions or TVs with just scar sockets. An example, we use an Apple TV connected to the video converter box and we watch YouTube on an old fashioned CRT television. Now I did have this one here which is a HDMI to SCART, same thing but this was a lot cheaper, about 8 quid and it was a bit plasticky and uh, it tends to get very very warm very quickly so maybe I've just got a faulty unit, I don't know. This thing here was on all afternoon watching the television, I had no problems with it at all, barely even warm. Anyway that was how to run HDMI devices on old school CRT televisions. If you found the video of some use, you know what to do. Give it a thumbs up. If you don't like the video, the yellow button seems to work too. But as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. 7 3.